Well, we love to spotlight small businesses and artists on the show. Next up uh, is David T. Kim of DTK Ceramics. Yeah, he's known for creating custom dinnerware for Chicago's top restaurants and his specialty wheel thrown pottery. So take a look. I think I was always interested in the arts and I always let my curiosity lead the way and working with my hands and making things that are in my head into real life objects. Clay was always my medium. I really enjoyed the construction and the process of understanding and manipulating materials. Ceramics was always interesting because you go from a very highly malleable material and then you melt glaze or glass onto it and you fire it up to really hot temperatures to get something that is essentially going to last forever. I like to create things with minimum movement and minimum amount of water and I try to get the initial shape of the pot without working it too much. I think with ceramics in particular, it's so multifaceted. It's in almost everything, dinnerware in particular, tiles, toiletry, bathrooms, bathtubs. I love how pottery, there's a function to the form and you can use it throughout your day and it's part of your rituals of daily life. I grew up in northwest suburbs, Glenview, and my father was a, is a sushi chef, and I've been around food my entire life. That was a big influence on my choice of art. One of the chefs, Mike Carlson, noticed my artwork, and I made a bunch of pots for his restaurant, Schwa, and one thing led to another, and I started meeting more chefs, and I really enjoyed the collaborative effort to help my practice grow and to make their visions come alive for the dish that they want to create. It's my first time looking at these pots. I did the tiling for Kasama and a lot of the tasting menu dishes. I worked with Oreo. I did a lot of the ceramics for Mako. It's the omakase restaurant. Collaborating with chefs is it's always very, very interesting because it's you get the perspective of a chef and how he wants essentially the pedestal for his art to work. You know, we talk about the diameter and how the sauce pours and how big the plate is or how shallow it is. You essentially create a very, very unique plate that like works well, that becomes like one whole collaborative piece, like a painting or a sculptural object, you know, and then you can eat it. It's always surreal because restaurants have so much people coming around and the plates get used hundreds of times a day and I'm very proud and I'm happy and it's, it's very fulfilling. The process of making something from a lump of clay, it takes a lot of time, patience. Production pottery or production dinnerware is so machine manufactured that they minimize all the mistakes by using machines. But with handmade pottery, like you add the element of a human touch to it, which is not perfect. It's the art of perseverance, and that's what I like about it. It's fulfilling to me to get a pot that comes out just the way I want it, and it's very rare, but when it happens, it's a great feeling. I just want to say shout out to uh, so Josh cool. Royer and yeah. to Bill Clausura. Thank you so much for that great piece. Um, there's a you know a list of over 25 award-winning restaurants that he creates for. Wow. So if you're a foodie, you've probably eaten off of his plateware. You can check out his website to find out the full list, and you can commission some work or find ready-to-go plateware at many artists and craft fairs too. Just follow him on Instagram at DTK Ceramics. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, really, that was awesome. Cool.